What is going on everybody and welcome to another Minecraft command block tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a kind of if statement on bedrock edition using commands. Now this is already implemented in Java, but no if is not actually in the game. You cannot do an execute if, but I do have a workaround. Now I found this video on YouTube, which I'll try and have a link in the description for you guys to go watch this. This is an old Java command using a chain inverter which I thought was really neat. I kind of wanted to use it, so I thought I'd show you guys. And then I'm going to show you a couple examples using redstone. Now, the guy who made this is Red's Bone Stuff. Uh, I'll have, you know, like I said, in the description. And then the people that gave me the example to use a shop were Samster and Mathy Maddie. So, you guys, you know, thank you guys for showing that, uh, giving me the example to use this in because I asked you guys over on the community tab and in Discord. So, I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Um... I have an apple here and I have a money system. If I don't have the apple and I try and buy something, it's going to say I don't have an apple. I need to find some. If I do, you guys can see 1858. I'm going to click this. It went to 1859. It says thanks for shopping. If I click it again. doesn't have it. So this is really good if you're going to use an impulse as the starting command. And if this is successful, it'll run the in between these two honey blocks it'll run this chain of commands now if this command block is unsuccessful it will then run anything after this blue successful so that's how that would work it's basically saying if this is true it'll run that if this is not true it'll run that which is pretty neat now there's a couple examples that you could use which i'm going to show you this now that can be used as a repeating version if you don't have text because if this is a repeating version just like this method over here that I'm going to show you if this is repeatingly always not true then this is always running and if this is repeatingly true these are always running so text if you're going to add text like I have here that's going to be the saying no apple it'll constantly say that if that's repeating so if you don't have those two texts inside of this and you're going to use this as a repeating it'll work just fine if you're going to have it like an effect if the player doesn't have an apple it'll have a speed effect basically you could do that and it would work perfect but if you're going to use a repeating you can use redstone something like this so if a player is within five blocks it's going to be true you can have it run something like speed or something and if it's not it's going to say hi that's how that works using the redstone method but if you were to turn this to an impulse, which I'm going to need to change this very quickly, and I'm going to do three. So I'm going to change that to an impulse and needs redstone. So if I'm over here and I click it, the problem here is this torch never turns off. It's never going to get powered by a comparator unless you have some redstone powering the comparator. But red it won't work unless the player is near it. So let me go three blocks. And it's constantly going to run it. And then I have to be away. So there's a problem with this using impulse, which that doesn't. So this is an impulse version kind of, which is really neat. But if this is always repeat and always active, then yes, this would be a very good method to use. But you could still use that if you don't want to use any redstone. The other problem, before I get into the commands, guys, I'm just going to show you these simple things here. So this one is if I don't have an apple, it'll say hi. But the problem here is if I have an apple, it's going to say you don't have the apple, and it's going to say hi. So this method would be used if you want to check if this is always going to be false, then this is always true. But if this is ever true, it's still going to run the false and the true, which is not cool. And this is just basically a clear apple. This is going to do a say command conditional chain conditional always active and this is just an unconditional always active so this is neat if you want to always check for something false this is what you could use for that but if it's ever true it would still run these line of commands and this one wouldn't be which you still don't need that you know that you could just take that out and put that right there but these over here are redstone think bad about redstone is if you have an apple it'll run if you don't have an apple it won't run but if you don't have the apple and you try and run it again oops let me show you if i have it here and i try and press without having an apple it's never going to run again 
I don't know what the problem is with redstone on bedrock, but it's a little funny and a little different. Same with this method here. It's going to be the same. If I don't run it, it's never going to work. I have to run it successful first, then run it, and then I have to run it successful again. Same with observers. If you guys ever see that, it's the observers are kind of funny, which I used observers in this method before. This is actually backwards. So if I click that, it's not going to run. But if I have an apple, it's still not going to run. I don't know why observers are kind of funny, but they are. But this method is pretty neat. I don't know. You guys can use this in a couple of different ways. If this is something you want to use, I'm just going to show you guys the commands. It's going to be really easy. Thank you for shopping. It's always going to work. And then one apple, drop it. It's not going to work. And it works. And then it's not going to work after that. I don't know. It's kind of neat. So I just set up a simple scoreboard objective dummy for money and then gave every player, which is just me, a money score of zero. And that's it. So the first command here is an impulse, unconditional, needs redstone. It's going to be clearing an apple, negative one, so it's any apple, doesn't matter. And it's going to be zero. So it's not going to actually clear it. It's just going to test if it's in your inventory. These in between the two honey blocks are going to be always conditional and always active with a chain. So it's going to be setting a block at negative one for one stone. You can have whatever coordinates you want, but for this video, it is right here in this corner. And... This one is going to be adding the player one money system. So if these two are true, this will be true. And if this is tr if the one before it is true because it's a conditional, it's going to say thanks for shopping. And this one over here is going to be the last conditional. It's going to clear the player the actual apple that you had in your inventory. It's going to clear one since it was testing for one. Everything's going to be working off this cornered block for the set block stone so if this is successful this first one these will be successful but if this is not successful these won't run because they're conditional but it is still power a redstone signal all the way to this one because it's an unconditional chain always active and it's going to be testing for a block at negative one for one air so if this doesn't set stone there it's going to test for air and if it's if it's found air, it'll set a block of air right there. It's going to get rid of the stone. This is chain unconditional always active. So that way you actually never see stone. It never places it, never shows it, because it was true on finding air. This one is just a backup, like nothing's in here. You can put something if you want. It's just to put it back into a line of chain. So it's just going this way, this way, this way back. And this one's pushing back that way. Anything after this blue is if that is unsuccessful. So this one is just saying you don't have any items found. Find an apple. This is chain, conditional, always active. This one has to be conditional if this one was ran. So this one's going to be run, and then this one's going to be a conditional. So this one still meets the conditional, unconditional method. So let's click this again. You don't have an item found. Find some apples. There you go. And if I have an apple, I'm just going to give myself a bunch. It'll work. It'll constantly give me the money every time the button's pressed, which is pretty neat. You don't have to use any redstone. And it could be worked for many, many methods. So you could use execute. You don't even have to use the clear. You could use an execute test for a player within five blocks. And yeah, if it is found, then it'll run that. These commands, if it's not, it'll run those commands. So it's just a quick little chain inverter, which I thought was nice. It's really, it's a really cool method. It's basically doing a lot of test four blocks. So it needs just one block of, you know, right here, which you could put right like I did here. So if you have that, you know, it'll run these commands. So this is the if it's true and if it's false. And that's all that is. You guys might be better at redstone if you guys figure out, you know, redstone methods other than the repeating here, which if it's a repeating, like I said, if you guys want to use redstone, you can. But this is perfect, so if you want to use that, you can. That's pretty much it for the tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching. I'm Dacon Black Rose. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the like button if you enjoyed these kind of command block tutorials still. If I explain that good enough, it's been a while since I made a command block video. So I, I'm still trying to get back into showcasing or kind of like explaining stuff. Uh, I'm such a noob. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the video, guys. Thank you for watching. I'm Dick on Black Rose, and I'm out. Bye! <laughs>